desire when you pray. What's those things? You must have some desire. Hey, we are so glad that you have taken the time to watch us on Walking by Faith this morning. It's, it's so awesome that you're watching. And listen, there's a dynamic word that's designed specifically for you and for your situation. Stay tuned. And now for the word in progress. Now, we're not in la-la land as, as, as believers. We need to understand the difference between fact and truth. Because the statistics that we've been highly developed in respecting and conditioned and trained in, those could be facts. Many times they are facts. As believers, I'm not teaching you to be in la-la land as if the facts don't exist. But as a believer, I am teaching you and I unapologetic, uh, un unapologetically teaching you that <laughs> that was an adventure. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, you need to know the difference between a fact and the truth. Most believers don't know the difference. And it's going to make a difference by you knowing the difference. You got John 17? Watch this. Look at verse number 17. Very simple verse. He says, sanctify them by your truth. Your word is what now? Now, sanctify means to set apart. That means as a believer in life, as I go through life, as I encounter odds and statistics and challenges and things of that nature, as I'm going through things, God wants me to be set apart. Not that I don't go on the same job you don't go on. That ain't what I'm talking about. It's just that because I'm set apart and I'm basing my life as a believer, not on the facts, but on the truth. And what is the truth? Come on, say, I just read it. Just read it. What is the truth? So my life should be based, if I'm going to win against the odds, my life ain't based on the odds. And the odds could be fact. My, folks, I, when I first came home from the penitentiary, I don't know what it is now. The statistic was 82%. This is in 1995, 96. 82% of convicted felons return. Fact. The truth is, if any man be in Christ. Glory to God. <laughs> I could base my life on the fact which is undeniable, or I can base my life on the truth. I made a choice to base my life on the truth, and I ain't been to the penitentiary since. Shout amen for that. Amen. <laughs> in this life, everybody say in this life. In this life. Yeah, in this life, you will live by some philosophy or another, and you're going to govern your life by some philosophy. You going everybody in here right now is governing their lives by some kind of philosophy. Go to Matthew four. Yeah, in the, in this life, you going you gonna govern your life by some kind of philosophy. And in, in, in fact, you already are. You are all you are already setting your life up, running your life, governing your life by some kind of philosophy. Whether that be a a, a good one or not, but you're doing it already. As believers, my life should be governed by scripture, not emotions, not situations, not circumstances, not paydays and non-paydays. As a believer, my life should be governed by scripture. Come on, this, this, this got to penetrate tonight. 
Because you got people sitting up, sitting, sitting in here right now, of course, the body of Christ watching on streaming, but you got people sitting here right now who, who, who your life is not being governed by Scripture. You are out of the will of God. It's governed by how that bank account look right now. It's governed by an idea you got from the barbershop, beauty salon, your uncle, your cousin, the prophetess, the prophet. It's based off something, but as a believer, if I'm going to win against the odds, my life got to be based upon scriptures. Matthew 4. Look at verse number 4. But he answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by what now? But by every word that proceeds from where? The mouth of God. The message Bible says it this way. The message Bible says, Jesus answered by quoting Deuteronomy. It takes more than bread to do what? Stay alive. It takes a steady stream of words from where? God's mouth. So as a believer, my life, in order for me to stay alive and experience the Zoe life and experience the God kind of life, I have to have the word. See, Jesus already knew odds would be against you. And he says the way to overcome is to, is to, is to keep a steady stream of this word. Now, the devil has, the devil who is known to be the author of confusion has used facts to confuse us. Facts simply state what it is. Facts, facts state what it is, what, what, what they've calculated, what they've added up to be. But however, what is is also subject to change. Because I gave you the numbers from, I don't know, 2000, I mean, uh, 1995. That number might not even be the same right now. But however, in 95, that was a fact. So all a fact do is just states what it is. But facts are subject to change. What the devil, who is the author of lies, the author of confusion, is what he's trying to do, do, get you to do is base your life on facts. And when you base your life on facts, you're basing your life and governing your life on something that is subject to change. So, like, for instance, the fact could be, and I think I heard some testimonies up here on Sunday, the fact could be that they saw a, they, that they saw a spot on your lungs or on the x-ray. That's a fact. Yet the truth is by his stripes. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a choice to stay with the truth. Everybody say stay with the truth. Because the truth can change the facts. So they take another x-ray. And now they don't see the same fact that they saw before. Because facts are subject to change. Now, the fact could be you don't have no money right now. But the truth is, it is the blessing of the Lord that maketh rich, and he addeth no sorrow to it. So I'm not going to govern my life based on what I have right now. Fact, I'm going to govern my life based off truth. Did you know there's a spirit of faith right here in Hampton Roads? Watch us Sundays at 7.30 a.m. Then visit us in Virginia Beach, where Drs. J.L. and Shannon Simpson teach a life-changing word that is real and relevant. I said I feel the spirit of faith on me right there. Thank you so much for watching today's broadcast, Walking by Faith. It's always an honor, always a privilege to know that viewers like you are watching the broadcast. Hey, now listen, now here's what we want you to do. Because you've been watching, it could have been your first time watching on this morning, or maybe you are a return, somebody who's watched us over and over and over again. Now is your Sunday, this year's your Sunday, to come and visit us here at Spirit of Faith Christian Center. Listen, we have an 8.30 a.m. service, as well as an 11 a.m. service. We have options, you make the choice. But get here, you've been enjoying the teaching ministry. 
very simple, very practical, easy to understand teaching that you can apply to your everyday life. So visit us this morning at 8.30 or 11 o'clock. And then you also can come visit us on Tuesdays right here. The address should be on the bottom of the screen. Tuesdays at 7 o'clock for a life-changing, dynamic Bible study. You know, they tell us that we're real, radical, relevant, and refreshing. There's a word here designed specifically for you. So come and visit us this morning, 8.30 or 11, or come visit us on Tuesday. In fact, if I was you, I would come visit us at all three. Now, speaking of opportunities to come and visit us, we also have a South location. That's right, 1750 Campus Della Road, Norfolk, Virginia 23523. The address should be on the bottom of the screen. Come visit us every single Wednesday at 645, life-changing, dynamic Bible study. We're one church, two locations, more opportunities for you to come and visit Spirit of Faith. So if you're over there in the in the Berkeley area, the, the Campostella area, Diggs Park, Oak League Park, South Norfolk, Cambridge Manor, anywhere in Norfolk, there's a Spirit of Faith near you. Come visit us at our South location. Again, thank you so very much for watching us. I trust that your life has been tremendously blessed. Take the next step and come visit us. Remember, life is always better when you're walking by faith. Did you know there's a spirit of faith right here in Hampton Roads? Watch us Sundays at 7.30 a.m. Then visit us in Virginia Beach, where Drs. J.L. and Shannon Simpson teach a life-changing word that is real and relevant. I said I feel the spirit of faith will be right there. I traced this all the way back to the beginning about this knowledge, reasoning, because God wants me to be a person of faith, not a person of reasoning. So when I looked at work, because I said, okay, God, why are they going to die when they, when, when, when they mess with this particular tree? Why, why does you never want us to have the knowledge of good and evil? That don't even make sense to me. And God says, I'm not trying to make sense, I'm trying to make faith to you. I never want you to walk by your senses. I've always wanted you to walk by your faith. The moment you mess with this tree, it's going to open up these senses. It's going to open up fear. It's going to open up, you're going to know when you broke. I never wanted you to know when you were broke. Shoo. There's going to be sickness all around. I never wanted you to know about a sickness. But the moment you put your nosy butt on that tree. And that's fine. Some of you, this will tweet. Some of you know too much to be in faith. You know too doggone much to be. You, you know too much. You can't, you can't be in faith because you know. You, you know too much how, about your marriage situation to be in faith. You know what your husband always do in this particular situation to be in faith for him. I'm teaching real good right now. You know too much about your paydays and when they come, when they don't come, bonuses when they come. You, you, you know too much about that to even be in faith for it. Do, do you get what I'm saying? Yes. You know too much about the economy. I don't care that the colors is red now, Republican. I don't care who in the, I don't care who in the White House. I know who in heaven. And I do care, but I'm talking about in terms of that ain't going to dictate what happened to me because I ain't from around here. That word knowledge, that word, that Hebrew word, watch what it means. It means knowledge gained by my senses. <laughs> it means knowledge gained by my senses. I don't want you to mess with that tree because the moment you mess with that tree, you're going to get knowledge gained by your senses. Adam, up until this point, you don't have any knowledge that's gained by your senses. This is why you're able to overcome all the odds, all the obstacles, because you don't even know the obstacles exist. They do exist, but you don't even know they exist because you don't have any knowledge that's gained by your senses. Adam, all you have is knowledge that's gained by your heavenly father. How would your life really be right now if you start conducting your life only by knowledge from the Father? No, no, how would it, re how would it really be? Well, how am I going to do that? 
the word. You ain't got to ask. I, God give you a rainbow, but you ain't got to rely on rainbow. You got logos. You got to re, re, open up the Bible. Listen to CDs. Confess the word every day. Spend more time in the word. Man should not live by bread alone. So, 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 so get this word up in get this word in your spirit, man. On that daily basis, man. I listen to at least. It was two hours, but now I'm I'm, I'm superseding. I used, I used to listen to at least two hours of the word every day. But now because of all this technology, I got it all on my phone. I, I'm. I got satellite radio. I ain't even worried about listening to that. I, I just put, put, the, put YouTube on my phone and just let, 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 let the word play. All these resources we got to get this word. Ain't like I always got to be sitting down because don't be spooky. You got to iron your clothes. You better get ready for work. But cut the word on while you're getting, getting ready for work. Right. Evaluate your day. And, and again, listen, I ain't trying to turn you to no zombie, to no. You, you, listen, I ain't, you watch TV. I ain't trying to turn you to no. But at the same time, I'm not, I've already made up my mind based on what I know I need. I ain't going to listen to nothing more than I listen to the word. I'm going to watch Sports Center, but I'm going to have more word than Sports Center. I'm going to watch my games, but I'm going to have more word than me than I got my games. Some of you got to watch that. Your team lose, you done. You don't want to talk to nobody for two days. You're going to get put out you're talking to everybody. He says, I don't want you to have this knowledge gained by your soul. So here's the, watch this. So Adam, if you eat of this tree, you're going to be disconnected from me. And all, and here's what he's telling, here's what he's telling Adam. And all the knowledge you're going to get from this point on is going to come from your senses only. Folks, Adam was never created to be led by his senses. He was created to be led by the Spirit of God. Folks, when God is talking, he ain't talking to your flesh. He's talking to your spirit. I said, when God is talking, he ain't talking to your flesh. He's talking to your spirit. He ain't even talking to your soul. He's talking to your spirit, man. He's talking to the real you. Okay, go to Ephesians 3. God's ability in overcoming the odds, his ability is not limited by my thinking. That'll tweet too. God's ability is not limited by my thinking. Yeah, so when, so when God talks, he, he, he ain't talking to, man, God ain't talking to your sense realm. He ain't talking to your flesh. Your flesh and false signals. Some of you think you're hearing from God in the flesh. And that, that's probably one of the most dangerous things you can do. No, no, they stepping they, they, they step back like, oh, wait a minute. It's some super. It's some to that thing now. No, it's 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 some to that. Glory to God. You are a part of a supernatural church, yeah. doing supernatural things <laughs> in a five-star manner. We are life-changing, transformational. See, you've been saying that stuff, but you don't realize. Folks, sometimes it takes you to get out of this environment right. to know that what we're doing is supernatural. Right. Right. And I got to make sure you ain't got to know everything before we do stuff. Amen. 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 Now I need to hold, I need all of you all to know that. Folks, I'd be laughing. I'd be laughing hard. I'm like, I'm like Sarah when God said, you're going to get pregnant. She said, oh, glory to God. That's funny, Lord. You're <laughs> Lord, you're tripping. Senses. Yeah. She went. She went right to what she could. Mm -hmm. She went right to what she could figure out. Watch this. At the whole. See, you gotta watch stuff mm -hmm. like that. The whole time she really wanted to get wanted, pregnant. Yes. It wasn't funny because she didn't want to get pregnant. It was funny to her because, dang, 
what you saying is, is what I really want. However, the issue is, I can't figure it out. And I'm only, the willing, I'm only willing to believe that God if you can tell me how it's going to work. Because the odds are against me. I'm in my 90s. Not only, but even before I got in my 90s, I was barren. And so, but now I'm hearing a word from you. And the Bible says that, uh, see, oh man, I'm, I'm somewhere else now. See, your body is to be absent from your body is to be present with the Lord. But then you got this soul part of you. Your soul is your mind, your will, your emotions, your imagination, and your intellect. You got this soul part of you, and you got this spirit part of you. Well, the Bible says in Hebrews 4, I think it's verse 12, you don't have to go there, that, that's, that the only thing that can separate uh, spirit from the soul is the word. The word is like a double-edged, a two-edged sword. So the only thing that can separate that soul and that spirit is the word. And so people can't think like God wants them to think or think on the level that because they're not allowing the word to slice that, to slice that spirit, that soul off of that spirit man. So now you only go on with soulless decisions instead of spirit led decisions. In fact, a lot of what you call spirit-led is really soul-led. And God's, I receive, and God's ability is not limited to what I can think. Come on, say God's ability. God's ability. Is not limited, not limited by what I can think, <laughs> by what I can come up with. In fact, if you really want to get in faith, believe for something that you can't come up with. That you have no idea how this thing going to work. You have no clue. You got no sign. Ain't nobody in your life right now can help you, can pull it off. Huh. That soul is a trip, man. That soul will limit you. That soul is how you having thoughts of quitting. This ain't going to work. Ah, oh, this ain't going to work. And so now watch this. This is why I say most believers say they're in faith. They're not in faith. The majority of you in here right now, you don't have to raise your hand. I know this by the Spirit of God. It's kind of why I'm teaching this lesson. The majority in, you in here right now, you really only believe in God for what you kind of can figure out. You got to say amen. Really. Whatever's on the table right now that you say you believe in God for, you kind of figured it out. Well, you know, I'm going to do this. You know, you know, as soon as my credit gets straight, listen, get your credit straight. But you just limited God because God might want to do it while the credit bad. Mm. Sure, glory to God. Get, get your credit straight. Don't Because do, people hear that. Well, you always put, I ain't putting no bad credit. You, you, listen, your credit score is, 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 a, is, a, is a report card of your integrity. It's a whole list of people you lied to. <laughs> no, that's what it is. Your, your credit score is a whole bunch of people you lied to. So when they pull that sheet, I lied to him, I lied to her, I lied to him, I lied to her. Because you said, I'm going to pay you. And you said, you did not. Get your, but see, well, so now back to what I'm saying. I just want to clarify that because I don't want to think I'm promoting nobody. I ain't promoting bad credit. Get your credit straight. Do what you got to do to get, 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 get that credit right. However, most of what you believe in God for is when it gets straight in, when this works out in, when we get this right in, that could be a plan. But see, God ain't limited to your credit score. But if that's what's coming out of your mouth, then even though God is willing, you have just cut off his ability because he don't work in the sense realm of what you can figure it out. He works by faith. He works by the unseen. Did you know there's a spirit of faith right here in Hampton Roads? Watch us Sundays at 7.30 a.m. Then visit us in Virginia Beach, where Drs. J.L. and Shannon Simpson teach a life-changing word that is real and relevant. I said I feel this spirit of faith over me right there.
thank you so much for watching today's broadcast, Walking by Faith. It's always an honor, always a privilege to know that viewers like you are watching the broadcast. Hey, now listen, now here's what we want you to do. Because you've been watching, it could have been your first time watching on this morning, or maybe you are a return, somebody who's watched us over and over and over again. Now is your Sunday, this year's your Sunday, to come and visit us here at Spirit of Faith Christian Center. Listen, we have an 8.30 a.m. service, as well as an 11 a.m. service. We have options, you make the choice. But get here, you've been enjoying the teaching ministry. Very simple, very practical, easy to understand teaching that you can apply to your everyday life. So visit us this morning at 8.30 or 11 o'clock. And then you also can come visit us on Tuesdays right here. The address should be on the bottom of the screen. Tuesdays at 7 o'clock for a life-changing, dynamic Bible study. You know, they tell us that we're real, radical, relevant, and refreshing. There's a word here designed specifically for you. So come and visit us this morning, 8.30 or 11, or come visit us on Tuesday. In fact, if I was you, I would come visit us at all three. Now, speaking of opportunities to come and visit us, we also have a South location. That's right, 1750 Campus Della Road, Norfolk, Virginia 23523. The address should be on the bottom of the screen. Come visit us every single Wednesday at 645, life-changing, dynamic Bible study. We're one church, two locations, more opportunities for you to come and visit Spirit of Faith. So if you're over there in the, in the Berkeley area, the, the Campostella area, Diggs Park, Oakley Park, South Norfolk, Cambridge Manor, anywhere in Norfolk, there's a Spirit of Faith near you. Come visit us at our South location. Again, thank you so very much for watching us. I trust that your life has been tremendously blessed. Take the next step and come visit us. Remember, life is always better when you're walking by faith. What's gonna say? You might have some desire.